Hey guys, we just wanted to share with you a uh, nice application that we found. Um, the application's purpose is to be able to warp and blend um, several projectors together so you get one solid clean image across the board. Um, the, uh, the application name is called Immersive Display Light 2. It's actually a really good app. We've tried quite a few of the apps on the market, and um, this one is extremely straightforward and very affordable. Uh, the app is actually broken up into two parts. Um, one is the warp setup, which we're going to get into in a second, and then the warp loader. Uh, once you create your warp and blend setup in warp setup, um, then uh, you run any of your DirectX or OpenGL applications uh, by using this warp loader app here. So let's go ahead and get into the setup real quick. Now we're not going to go into deep detail and everything like that, just to give you an overview of how this works, um, just to show you how useful it could be for uh, your project. So we're going to open up warp setup. Uh, just to let you know, um, this is a demo version. Uh, we're waiting on our license, so you might see some watermarks here and there, but it's not really a big issue. All right, so as soon as you run up Warp Setup, uh, this is kind of what you see. Uh, you get here in this, you know, uh, the configuration window. Uh, you get to choose the amount of projectors that you have. Right now, we are running on two projectors, and you can use whatever image that you want in the background, uh, whether it be text, panorama, or a custom image that you've imported. So here, real quick, like I said, we're not going to get too terribly down into the details of the actual app itself. We're just going to show you how awesome it is for what we do. Um, so uh, the basics, you can choose between your two projectors here. And if you see over here, these are your warp points. So I've selected projector number one, and now whenever I select projector number one, these warp points, I can actually grab them and move them. So it's as easy as taking your warp point and actually moving it to where you want it to go. Now, uh, the reason why we're not getting into the details is because this could take a little bit of time. It's a little bit tedious, and we don't want the video to be 30 minutes long. Uh, I say tedious, but it's not difficult. It just takes some time to find adjust. As you can see, there's a really good grid here um, that helps you to visually adjust where we're at. So I've done projector one, okay? I'm going to now click on projector two, and that will allow me to come down over here to our points just as easily and move them into the corners. Now what this will do now is any image projected from this using this warp configuration will be warped exactly the way that you see it here on the board. Now let me give you a perfect example. Go back to the warp and blend setup. We actually added a little picture of a koala bear here. Now you can see that koala bear is pretty much, you know, blended. It looks pretty good. We've still got a little work to do on it, but for the most part it's where it needs to be. But if you go back to this corner over here, I'm going to bring this corner down, you can see it'll warp the actual frame. And this is exactly what it's going to look like when we run our application, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. I'm not going to save because we already have a configuration saved, just so I can give you an idea of what we're dealing with. We have our own application already. Um, ready to go, uh, just to show you the end result. Now remember, this is two totally, completely different um, projectors, and they have quite a bit of overlap, and they are sh overshooting the screen by quite a bit. And so, now I'm just going to take, we've already got this pre-set up, uh, I'm going to use their warp, lo warp loader application, just double click on it. Again, like I said, this is an unlicensed version, so you're going to probably see some watermarks. But our application will open now. Now look at our look at how this is right now. You can see it's evident that this is definitely not warped yet. So if you hit 
Control, Shift, F12. And now the warp moves into place. All of our corners are matched up. And the middle is now blended. And we now have a very well blended multi projector touch surface. Really, really, really fantastic product. Just wanted to share with you guys because I know the folks out there in the community have been looking for a really fantastic solution like this. Well, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.